Welcome to another episode of NaNoWriMo. Hey YouTube, how the heck you doing? It's another day for our little writing competition or challenge and I hope you guys are doing good. Actually it is day 12. I'm going to be showing you my progress uh, after I do my writing today. I usually been doing that the last couple days. I do a little intro, I do my writing and then uh, trying to find something to show you in uh, Scribner so I will be doing the same thing today that I've been doing the last couple days and hopefully you guys are able to reach your goals or making some good progress on your goals uh, I've been doing good on mine I fell behind on one day so far but uh, not too bad so we're gonna see how that goes for the rest of the day here as I delve into uh, my story again it's getting harder to plot some things um, I'm going to have to look at my outline. I showed you that the other day, the uh, big outline that you can do. So I'm going to be looking at that and trying to decipher that a little bit more and then delving into the writing process. But until then, let's go ahead and I'll jump over to Scribner, show you a couple things today, and we'll see what we can find. Hang on, guys. So welcome back inside Scribner again. And uh, I'm just going to show you a little preferences that you can do here with the cork board. I showed you how you can move them around out of sequence and, you know, put them in different areas that you want. But you can also make them look nicer. So you can, uh, if you go up here to Scrivener under preferences and select cork board, and it helps if you have something open when you're doing it. So I have uh, the cork board in the background there. Now you can have uh, the appearance is the first things that you mainly want to play with or want to get used to looking at. So you can have ones that have lines on the cards. As you can see, they disappeared. You can have something with uh, two lines in the title area. So you have titles that are extra long or two, two lines that would take up all that area. So you would want that for that card. But I'm going to switch mine back to the single one because mine just say chapter numbers. You can display images as photographs. I don't have any on there at the moment, and that's a default I believe they have selected. You can arrange your cards from right to left. So you have uh, one, two, three, all the way to the side there. So it's just a different sequence. And I'm going to switch it back to uh, left to right. And I still have my card one out of place here, it looks like. Let me throw him back to there. Go back up to preferences. And you can change the uh, corkboard background. Right now it's the standard pattern, but you can have a beige paper, graph paper, you can have a slate graph paper. You can do a custom color just by going over here on that. And then you can go down here and select a color. I think I showed you that one previously. And we can do it for the freeform background too. That's the little icon in the bottom right corner, bottom left, bottom corner there. Or you can just do a freeform of your cards, kind of lay them out how you want them. But I typically work in your standard looking one where everything is set there. So I'm just going to set it there for now. And then the other thing that you can do, let's go back up into preferences. You can change the, uh, the fonts, of course. You can make them different fonts and everything. But the one thing I do like, and I've already selected it, because by default, dragging and double clicking on the corkboard does nothing. That's the default for it. But what I like to do is have it create a new card. So when I'm doing my uh, layout, going over my cards and everything and say I, I got a new idea I'll just double click it and say I want to throw it here between chapter 4 and 5 and as you can see over here in the corner here you have now uh, something in between chapter 4 and 5 that's the new label and you can go ahead and do a right click on it I'm going to make it a book a blue book and I'll show you how you can do that on the other ones if you go ahead and select them all by doing command A or control A you can just go up to the first one there 
set it to blue book and that will change all your icons to books on the side there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into here and that's really out of sequence so I'm going to call it chapter 4.5 for now and go back into there and as you can see it's chapter 4.5 because I've thrown it in between the two chapters but that's just to show you something you can do I can go ahead and delete that it deletes it out of the side and then I'm back to my chapter 1 through 7 again so those are just some of the things let's go back up into there again into preferences and we're still on our cork board you can change the theme of it I have rounded ones so you can also do the standard red and blue lines I believe I went over those for you and the blue and black you can also have the pin to the center or the right and as you can see the green pin corresponds to the label of that if I go over here and you can see that it's set to chapter if I were to click down here on chapter 6 and check out the label it doesn't have a label yet so I'm going to go ahead and set it to a green pin same with chapter 7 I'm going to go to my label do a right click on the postcard or the index card and set that to a label also as a chapter and if I go back up to preferences here I've got my pins again but if I go ahead and do a different theme say I do the rounded corners you see that it changes all the corners of the index cards to the corresponding label of green meaning that it's a chapter as you can see some of my statuses aren't set all on my card so I'm just going to go here through here real quick set them all the first draft on my status so now you got all at the first draft so that's just a few ways you can uh, mess around with your cards kind of get them set up the way you like them color schemes icon schemes and it's just a little more enjoyable to look at when you're playing with them knowing that you're going to be looking at them for several days at a time you want to be able to enjoy what you're looking at so that is just uh, one little tidbit for the manuscript when you're working in your corkboard view hope you enjoyed those little tidbits i will have more for you in the future have a good day guys and i'll catch you next time <music>